Okay. I am setting the dials for March 10th, 1876. Good choice. Alexander Graham Bell invents the telephone and calls out for Dr. Watson. Wait a minute. I'd want to see that, too. So when it's your turn, you can. Yeah, but if we all go back to the same point in time, Bell's lab's going to get very crowded. He'll know something's up. <laughs> also, since the time machine doesn't move in space, you'll end up in 1876 Pasadena. Yeah, and even if you can make it to Boston, what are you going to do? Knock on the door and say to Mrs. Bell, hey, Mrs. Bell, big fan of your husband. Can I come in and watch him invent the telephone? <laughs> Mrs. Bell was deaf. She's not even going to hear you knock. <laughs> I have a solution. First, go into the future and obtain a cloaking device. Ooh, how far into the future? If I remember correctly, Captain Kirk will steal a cloaking device from the Romulans on star date 5027.3, which would be January 10th, 2328 by Pre-Federation Reckoning. Okay, I am setting the dials for January 10th, 2328. Here we go into the future. <laughs> That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was disconcerting to see the sun arc in less than a minute. Changes that normally took hours occurring in seconds. Dear Mrs. Watchett, always able to tell me what tie to wear, but never able to decide to wear anything more stylish than the type of clothes she's worn all these years. <laughs> <laughs>